This fight was billed as the inevitable fight, taking place a little over four months after Muhammad Ali's decision loss to Joe Frazier. Uh, both Ali and Ellis are from Louisville, Kentucky, and Ellis got into boxing after watching his friend get beat up by the then Cassius Clay in the gym. Ellis told his friend after that he could beat Ali, uh, which prompted his friend to dare him to get into the sport. Uh, Ellis then started to come to the gym, uh, meeting Ali twice in the amateurs and defeating him once. Ellis later became Ali's sparring partner, and when Ali was banned from boxing, Ali returned the favor and helped Ellis prepare for his fights. An interesting side note here is that they both shared the same corner man in Angelo Dundee. Uh, Dundee was also Ellis's manager and was contracted to earn over 33% of Ellis's earnings, so he opted to go with Ellis because that was the bigger payday. Dundee also acknowledged that he thought that Ellis was a better listener between the two. It's tougher to get through Ali, Dundee said, because he's predominantly a me, I, I'm the one, I innovate, I do, I produce, I do my own thing, I'm the greatest. But to get him to do what I wanted, I had to go through the back door. I'd say, you blew that round. If you want to lose the fight, keep doing what you're doing. I told him that against Frazier, but he didn't listen. He gave Frazier the fight. Jimmy listens. When he won the WBA tournament, he listened to the letter. Meanwhile, in Ali's corner, he maintained Bundini Brown as an assistant cornerman, and Bundini forgot to pack Ali's trunks for the fight, so you'll see Ali wear a pair of oversized white trunks for this bout. Uh, but Ali's real trainer here is Harry Wiley, who is best known for training Sugar Ray Robinson. Uh, I'll leave a link to the piece I did on him in the description box. Early in the highlights, you'll see some techniques that Ali learned from Wiley, uh, particularly the shoulder roll. In the opposite corner, Ellis is hungry for respect and is taking this fight a lot more seriously than Ali. He's always been the underdog and is a bit bitter for being in Ali's shadow, stating that Ali had a habit of making people feel small when he put them down in public. I'm the underdog again, Ellis said. I've only lost one fight as a heavyweight, and that one to the same guy who beat Ali, Joe Frazier. What makes us so far apart? What makes him so much better? Any questions? I'd like to know who the, who the chief seconds are. Dundee, you're the, you're the only ones who are allowed in the ring in between rounds under Texas rules. Mandatory eight counts. You must take it. Good luck to you both. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, Angelo Dundee was formerly the trainer of Muhammad Ali. He was always the manager of Jimmy Ellis. He brought him through some tough middleweight fights to where he had become WBA heavyweight champion of the world. And now the inevitable fight presented by top rank. Round one. Jimmy Ellis in the darker trucks. Ali cer sudden, certainly is fighting his typical pattern. But here very early is allowing himself to be backed into the ropes. He did allow that too much against Joe Fraser, you recall. It was one of his cardinal faults. Solid left to the body by Jimmy Ellis scores. Much has been said about the fact that Ellis has the sneak right hand and Ali better beware. But you can't help recording that Ellis has knocked most of his men down and out with the left hand. Bonavena fell to the right cross. Thirty seconds left in round one. Dave Anderson of the time said there would be a knockout by Ellis in round one. A solid left to the chin by Ellis. Seconds only left in round one. And there's the bet. Solid right cross by Muhammad Ali, who missed the uppercuts. And Ellis feels back. Ellis eyes a bit blazed. And he is holding on. Ellis felt the solid right. blows with not that much power.
Douglas has got the fear on his right uppercut. It was the blow which was on its way to Fraser when Fraser cut loose with a left hook to the head. Ali looks in excellent shape, not worried too much about the extra pound which he's got. Seems to be carrying it well. I don't think that Ellis has yet recovered from the solid right. Watch it now. They're beginning to talk about the fact that when Ali pulls his head back instead of moving from side to side, slipping the blow, he is moving back a little bit slower and being caught. A minute and a half left in round three. And Ellis has clipped him with some solid left jabs. The Ali shuffle. Ali that time looked for an opening when he slipped the left hand and he didn't find it at the body. Ali nicely stopped the right hand with a shoulder. He is confusing Ellis now. Loves the step. Ali is giving Ellis a lesson. Fifteen seconds remaining in round three. But while Ali danced, he was being pecked away at by Ellis, and some might give Ellis the round. Joey, I don't, he's still he's still as exciting when he's not even throwing a punch. I guess that's why he's so uh, so great. Well, he has never taken his eyes off of Ellis's eyes yet. You have to conjecture. Does the boss know the sparring mate, or does the sparring mate know the boss better? Some say it's that one. Sparring mate knows better. Ellis looks all right. Ali taking command. Sometimes Ellis, sometimes Ali has had trouble finishing his man. One minute left, round four. Ali bleeding from the nose. Ellis's eyes look glazed. left enough in Ellis so that Ellis can come back. Fifteen seconds remaining in round four. The best round for Muhammad Ali. going somewhere he had stung Ali with a left to the body and followed with a right hand to the jaw and Ali just evened everything up with a good powerful right I think right about here there is no more feeling about that Ellis might have as to awe or reverence for the man who used to pay his salary as his farming. One minute left this round as Ellis fights for his fistic life too. Good job, 
Seems to be overpowering Ellis. Ellis seems uh, a little wary about throwing combinations that leave him open. The left hand is coming in so sharply, Muhammad Ali, Joey. Ellis missing opportunities now. Fifteen seconds less, as a matter of fact, left in this round. And the bell. I'll say uh, again, Joey, I've seen nothing to convince me that Ali is ready for Fraser again yet. I've seen him throw a tired of blows in just these same situations before, and they're coming one at a time. Watch the effort when he throws the right hand, taking nothing away from his winning stride here. there the reason that Ali's 30 pounds could mean something he virtually playfully threw his hands down that was the extra weight and power he has in those mitts made it possible for him to push Ellis's blows down left in this round And yet, although Ellis forced Ali into the ropes with that attack up ahead, Ali gave him a good part of the body that Ellis didn't do anything about, Joey. Ellis has only fought in spurts since Hunt ran out of the He nicely with the left hand and then takes one back. But that advantage is lost. Ellis is forgetting defense after landing with the left hand. Ellis with a good rally. Seconds only remaining in round nine. Ellis appears to be hurt. And the bell. Ellis appeared to be hurt. Ellis's legs appear rubbery. He is hurt. He is defending. And I say that the best Ali we've seen, Ellis would not have lasted this long. 
in this round. A minute left. Ali is missing some of those blows out of his own ability to get strength, to get power, and to get sharpness up. Fifteen seconds remaining in this round. Oh. But Ellis is still standing. Joey, what I seem to miss wow. in Ollie strangely that time was the kind of animal face he gets on. A real mad face when he's got a man about ready to go. His left hand tonight is as good as Tommy Loughran's. This is not Jimmy Ellis at his best, the man who held the WBA World Championship. We thought when we came in Thursday to see uh, two of his last workouts that he looked over sharp and over trained. Some said he had complained about that possibility. I don't believe it. This is the Muhammad Ali that Ali himself likes to project to the audience worldwide. The dancing master, rat tat tat with the left hand. Don't get too worried. Roll with the shoulders. Slap disdainfully. That's speed, guy. That's lightning up there. A minute left, round 11. Coming up, the three uh, knockdown rule does, uh, does apply. And the eight count is mandatory. And clearly on what must be everyone's card, I'm sure. Jimmy Ellis has got to deck Muhammad Ali to win it. Round 12. For one of these fighters, a career may be over. In my opinion, we saw a rather dried out, perhaps overtrained Jimmy Ellis. Although he has never fought the fanciful moving target of a Muhammad Ali before. A larger question looming, Joey, is Fraser lost anything to Muhammad Ali in the battering he took in there, fight? Well, I think if I took a little bit out of both of them. Neither man shows much in the way of being cut. This is, in a way, a double defeat and a double victory. Angelo Dundee wanted victory for his fighter. In order to show Muhammad Ali how important it was to have Angelo Dundee in his corner. That hurt, Ellis. He's falling in for help. Ali has his man in trouble. One minute remaining in this fight. Ellis is reeling. He looks defenseless on the ropes. The referee may be deciding whether he's going to stop the fight. He is stopping the fight. Jay, it's 
Nelson wisely ruled. Jimmy Ellis had nothing more. And the rush comes up from this big crowd at the Astrodome in Houston, Texas. Um, doing first, 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 I must say right here, I'm a religious man. And I thank Almighty God, Allah, for my success. I thank Almighty God, Allah, for our leader, the Honorable Elijah Muhammad, who's teaching me to live a, good, live a good life. And as Ellis, uh, speaking on the fight, and also I want to say hello to my friend out there, Bill Cosby, Fat Albert's son. He's sitting out there watching. Dick show. Gregory is saying hello to you all. My friend Dick Gregory here is mainly Bill Cosby. He gave me a call today and told me good luck. So um, I thank you. I'm glad to see you here too, Joey. Thank you, I'm Muhammad. You I know a little about boxing. No, I took the walk with you today, and that's all I know about it. But I must say, your left hand tonight was, I've never seen it that sharp. Thank Did you. you feel that way also? Well, yes, it was sharp, but my time was a lot. Ernie Terrell, old friend here, possible Ernie? challenger. Shot that again. Okay, Ernie. Ernie, you qualify, and you'll be in line for a shot when I get finished with Joe Frazier. Is that going to be your next fight? Um, no, I'm planning on a couple more. A little overweight here tonight, a little slow. But what did you finally come in at? I came in at probably 224 after dinner. That's what I predicted, but I don't see the stomach on you that I yeah, saw when we went to the amusement. I'm tall, and the weight is solid. But... Uh, it's hot here in Texas and fighting here in July of all times. So it makes you drink so much liquor. I saw your brother crying. He said you were just beautiful. You never fought a nicer fight. Well, and I was saying you, you, were, you were so sharp. I've never seen you that sharp. Well, Ellis was a former sparring partner. He's graduated since then. And I like to say that I just beat, I consider, the best boxer in the world as far as skill and speed and maneuverability is concerned. Much more better boxer than Joe Frazier. Frazier just takes more and he hits harder. Do you think the way you fought tonight, you'd have beaten Frazier? No, I probably could have. As you notice, I was mostly dancing tonight. A lot you were of on your toes. Outside of one round, you were on your toes uh, all through the fight. I'm concentrating on getting back on my toes again, because that's how I'm going to have to whoop Joe Frazier. Uh, when I meet Joe Frazier, I'll be in twice the shape I'm in tonight. Will you, you ever fight this heavy again, Muhammad? Never this heavy again, no. What's the most you want to weigh uh, the next time you fight? I ever want to weigh is 215, and really I like to come in at least 212. Hey, I want to thank you for letting me come in and spend the day with you. And uh, your mom, I know, said, just win for me, son. And, uh, right. and I'll see you at the party later. Thank you. Okay. Thank you very, very much. Hey, tell all the brothers and sisters out there in the theaters to get ready, because Frazier must leave. Have you? Yeah.